it's Laura. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well today. I am bringing y'all another round of monthly favorites this time for the month of February. The shortest month of the year and it also seemed like it flew by super quickly. So if y'all want to know what I was loving this month, go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so starting out, we'll just go ahead and start out with skincare and body care. So as y'all know, I've talked a lot about the deodorant I use and that is the Meow Meow Tweet Baking Soda Free Grapefruit Deodorant and I think I mentioned in my empties video how I wasn't using my current little pot of it because my uh, the skin underneath my arms was getting very very dry and just a little bit irritated and so I don't know what in that was drying it out or if it was because of the cold weather but anyways I switched deodorants and I've been really impressed with the one I've been using and it is the Zabana Essentials baking soda free deodorant stick now I ordered from their website so you can get the small stick I think for like five dollars and then the larger size for maybe like 10 or 11 I can't remember off the top of my head but I will have everything linked below and I really like this deodorant because it is in a stick form it doesn't have baking soda and it goes on very creamy it dries very quickly and Annie over at Nourish Beauty mentioned that when she uses this she has a little bit of a white cast under her arms I haven't had that problem yet I actually like the um, I have the Lime, berry, basil, and then the lemongrass nectar scents. And so I actually really like the lime, berry, basil one better. It has a very interesting smell. It doesn't smell super sweet, but not super musky. It's just like, it smells a little Christmassy to me. I really like it. Um, the lemongrass scent, it's okay. Um, definitely a sweeter scent. I have found that my body tolerates the lime berry basil scent a little bit better than the lemongrass one. With this one, I have to reapply two to three times a day. With this, I only had to reply, reply. <laughs> I only had to reapply once a day. And so I definitely like this one more. And so whenever I run out of this full size, I will be ordering the full size of the lime berry basil. The next item I have is a face product that Danielle over at Cruelty Free Vegan Beauty sent me. This is the Chamomile and Lavender Face Gel from Earthwise Beauty. This is something that I have been using in the morning times. I use it after I use my Kensington Apothecary and it just has a very sweet smell. It's not too overpowering and it just has a very calming scent. So I keep this in the fridge and I, um, putting it on cold it just applies very smoothly and it just sinks into my skin and leaves it so moisturized and so soft. And if you have this or you want to purchase this, I definitely recommend keeping it in the fridge because it has aloe in it and that tends to make it a little bit sticky. And so the first time I used this, not refrigerated, it was a little bit sticky and harder to spread. But after keeping this and storing this in the fridge consistently, I haven't had that problem. So. I am definitely going to repurchase this, but I absolutely love it. My skin really likes it, and it um, is a face gel, but also acts as a serum. And this is really, really nice under makeup. The next skincare item I have is my favorite for this month because the combination of these two products together has really helped with my dry skin. The combination that I've been using to battle my dryness is, is the Mahalo Skincare Petal Mask paired with the Bless Balm from Leilani Skincare. So I love that both of these are from Hawaii. I love that they're both pink. That's very appropriate and fitting for the month of February. And these together, absolute powerhouse duo. I like to use this in the mornings before I shower. And what I will do is I, you know, get up, go into the bathroom, I put the petal mask on, I leave it on there for about 10 minutes, and then I wash it off. And I'll just show you all the petal mask real quick. Here it is, just this beautiful pink color. It has a really interesting consistency. Mercedes at L'Amore La Musique compared it to the consistency of the Honey Mud, which I agree, it's like a moussey, thick product. It spreads very easily, and so this can be as thick of a mask as you want or as thin of a mask as you want. So I only use probably like one one and a half scoops of this. I have a little spoon that I use with it that came with it. Um, and then I just rub it between my fingers and I'll put it all over my face. I'll leave it on for about 10 minutes and then I'll wash it off. 
And this has a very rosy, very rosy scent. It's not very strong for me, but I can see that if you are sensitive to smells, it might bother you. And then I will go in with the Bless Balm and I will put that all over my face on a pretty, not super thin amount, but not thick either. Just a good medium amount. And I will leave that on my face while I shower. And so the, the steam from the shower just works so well with this. And then before I get out of the shower, I'll get my little washcloth, run it under the hot water. I will steam off the product off of my face. And Mercedes, again, was the one who suggested using a balm as kind of a deep steaming treatment. And that is how I have been using this product. And once I'm out of the shower, my skin is so soft and just very nourished and it feels so moisturized. And I just love this combination together. So, um, separately, I've been very impressed with these items, but I love pairing them together. So going into makeup items, I don't have many. I just have two. The first one is going to be this Foiled Hearts lipstick from Breezia Cosmetics. And this, I posted this on my Instagram, if y'all saw that. And this is just a beautiful purple toned color. I'm wearing it on my lips today. And let me go ahead and swatch it for y'all. I'll just go ahead and swatch it right here. And it just applies so creamy. It stays very nicely on the lips and it doesn't really fade too much. When it does fade, it does leave a very nice stain to the lips. And I was very, very impressed with this. This, the Breezia line altogether is very affordable. The lipsticks are very affordable. And honestly, the applicator and how it comes out, it's like not as intimidating as maybe like a regular tube of lipstick and sometimes the bullets on lipstick you know you really have to be super careful when you're applying it sometimes the size of the bullet it can smudge easily so i would say these lipsticks are really great for people who don't like conventional regular lipstick tubes and want something a little bit easier to apply i didn't have to like blot or get you know it didn't bleed under my mouth nothing. This lipstick is very moisturizing, very pigmented. This is such a neat color. It's like a purpley color with a little bit of metallic sheen to it. And I just am so, I'm so obsessed with this. It has a peppermint smell to it. And I am looking forward to trying more of her lipsticks. That is from the 100% Pure Punk Princess Palette. But this eyeshadow in particular is the one that I have been reaching for a ton this month. And I'm also wearing it on my lids today in the lid. And then also built up in the crease for a little bit of a one shadow smoky eye. So this color right here in Private Show has been an absolute favorite. It's kind of a, like a metallic taupey color. And I'll go ahead and give y'all a little swatch. So that's what it looks like. And then built up, this is very, it's pigmented. It goes on very smooth. There's not any kick kickback at all from it. And I just really, really like it. So this is just one swatch of it there. And then it can, like I said, be very easily built up. So I've been wearing this just by itself on the lid. Um, and it's just, again, just a nice like metallic-y, purpley taupey color is how I would describe that. Sometimes I'm not the best with colors, but it's just a beautiful color and I really love it. It's honestly my favorite shade of all three of the palettes of the eyeshadows. The last two items that I have for y'all are lifestyle items. So the first one is this Essence of Valley Sleep Oil. I originally got the sample size in the October Pettivore box. Full size, this is the full size and it is $18. And I love using this for nights that I know I need a very good deep sleep, maybe on more stressful days. Um, and this just is so wonderful. It smells like warm lavender. It just has a very nice scent. So I will put this on my pulse points on my wrist and rub it together and then dab a little bit on my neck and I'll just lay there before I go to bed and just smelling this. And this has been really helpful this month, especially because it was just a little bit more stressful for me. And I felt like this helped me have those really deep sleeps. The last item that I have is this Earth Paste Amazingly Natural Toothpaste. I have the scent in Peppermint. 
So a while back, I shared with y'all that I was having some sensitivity to baking soda. At that time, I was using the Desert Essence toothpaste and that does have baking soda in it. And so my mouth, I just got some sore. It was really swollen and very uncomfortable. And so um, my friend Andy over at the Green Queen recommended the Aura Mirror toothpaste without baking soda. And I really enjoyed that one, but that one has glycerin. And so I've been reading more about glycerin and toothpaste and how it's not that great for your teeth. Um, with the remineralization of your teeth, it doesn't help that. Um, and so one night I was looking at the toothpaste ingredients, realizing it had glycerin. I was doing some light research on glycerin and and I'm not kidding, that night I had a dream that like two of my teeth like started crumbling because I was using this toothpaste with glycerin in it. I know, it's so silly, um, but that's what I had a dream about. Um, so this toothpaste, I picked this up at Natural Grocers. Purified water, food grade, Redmond clay, xylitol, peppermint essential oil, menthol, Redmond real salt, and tea tree oil. And so I've been really, really loving this. Since it has the clay and the salt in it, it can leave kind of like a chalky feeling in your mouth, but not really. I mean, I use this and then I'll follow up with some mouthwash. It makes my teeth feel very clean. And like I said, it doesn't have baking soda or glycerin. So if you're looking for toothpaste without baking soda, glycerin, or fluoride, this doesn't contain fluoride either, then I would pick this up. Okay guys, so that is it for my February favorites. As far as TV shows go, I am a huge fan of the show Downton Abbey that comes on on Masterpiece on PBS. This current season that's on is its last season and so I've been really enjoying watching the final episodes. I was watching this last episode which is the second to last episode and it was so emotional and I started crying and anyways if you watch that show please let me know down below because I would love to talk with you about it. Something else I have been loving this month that is lifestyle related is cutting out my phone time before bed and also when I'm with other people. So I've been doing this for about three weeks now and I have found that cutting down my phone time before bed has greatly improved my sleep. So I usually go to bed between 10 and 11 on weeknights. Right before 9 o'clock I will shut down all of my apps, close everything out, set my alarm, go put my phone by my bedside and then go get ready for bed, read a little bit before I go to sleep. And doing that has really made me sleep so much better. I feel like the quality of my sleep has improved. I feel like I'm falling asleep faster and I'm staying asleep and just, I wake up feeling so refreshed. And even when I wake up, I won't look at my phone really for probably, probably about an hour, just letting my body wake up naturally and not having any artificial light right when I wake up. So that has been so helpful in my sleep. I've also cut out my phone time when I'm with other people. And so lately when me and Brayden have been hanging out and spending time together, I'm not on my phone because I want to be more present in more aspects of my life. And so cutting out my phone time and my time on social media has been really good for my spiritual and mental and emotional health. And so I think I'm just gonna keep on doing that and make that, really make it a habit because I've read so much about being on your phone before bed and being on some sort of technology platform before you go to sleep and it's just not really good for you and so I just have been really enjoying that. So that is all I have for y'all for my February favorites. I hope y'all enjoyed this video and I will see y'all next time. Bye!